Howdy folks, it's me, Effing Controller, welcoming you to another edition of Let's Play an Old Mac Game. And this time, we're going to be uh, playing a game called Hellcats Over the Pacific, and it is a flight sim that simulates the uh, aforementioned Hellcat, the F6F Hellcat, which was a uh, fighter used in the Pacific Theater of World War II. And uh, it's a neat little game. It's also a neat little airplane. So why don't we just go ahead and get started? You can see we have a very maturely named uh, pilot there. Good for us. We get to select one of eight thrilling missions. Um, I'm going to pick Bomb Base because it is very straightforward and is already selected. And the other ones have confusing names. Because this, I know exactly what I need to do right there. I need to go bomb that base. This one, I, I don't know how I would capture the island from a plane. That befuddles me. That befuddles the fuck out of me. But Bomb Base, I got that. I can do that. And since it is entitled Bomb Base, I'm going to bring two bombs. The fuel level um, supposedly changes the handling and maneuverability of your plane, I guess. I don't really know for sure. <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't know why else they would make it adjustable. But um, obviously, if you have more fuel, you can also fly a longer distance. So we're going to go with... Pretty good amount of fuel, and here we are on the deck of the Saratoga, I think. I think the Saratoga was the main one that was um, operating in the Solomons, which you guys don't know. That's where we are. Let me look at the map, and I'll show you guys. See? Solomons. Bam. And this is our uh, target here to the west-southwest. We are actually pointed west-northwest right now, so we're going to have to make a slight adjustment. There's a friendly base there, as indicated by the legend. The legend of the mission map. And, uh, yeah, so we're going to get started again. So, whoa, and we're not going to run into the conning tower, or the tower, whatever, I don't know. And we're going to try to pull up, oh my god, pull up, you fat son of a bitch. All right, there you go. <laughs> All right, we're airborne. <laughs> and, okay, so you can see on our uh, instrument panel, that's what that's called, uh, <laughs> There's a green square, and that is actually a um, radar display. And it has little white dots on it. And you are not hallucinating. You're seeing dots, but you're not high for once. Those are actually enemy planes. And I'm going to go get into a little bit of a tussle with them, because they're going to come and try to bomb my carrier if I don't. So I'm going to try to um, kill them before they kill my friends. I'm a supportive co-worker. Alright, so we've got two definitely. You can change the resolution of the ra uh, radar there. That's what's going on. So now I'm at like a three nautical mile distance or something. And now I'm going down to one. And I don't see them. Oh, wait. Yes, I do. He's actually dead ahead right there. And I clipped him and he almost ran right in the... F <laughs> <laughs> what? Whoa. I almost said Ryan right into the fucking front of me, and I, I... The fucking front of me... Well, never mind. Let's, let's leave that alone. Okay, now his buddy is still going, so I'm going to try to catch up. Which may be difficult. Might be slightly difficult. I did get him to start smoking, though. I was like some cool guy in a leather jacket, and I said, Jacket. Not a leather jack. A leather jack is something else entirely. I don't know what it is, though. Anyways, that joke is ruined. Um, I was like some guy in a leather jacket on a street corner saying, Hey, kid, you want some cigarettes? Oh, God, are you going to bomb him? I thought he was going into a dive. Well, he's lined up sort of in front of me. I don't know if the bullets are really that affected by gravity and aerodynamics, <laughs> so I think I could just literally shoot at him straight ahead may not be necessary to lead him that much. You can see there's flak going off. Oh man, he's toast. Yeah. His goose is cooked. The mole is in his ass. Alright. Let's go see if we can finish off his buddy. As you can see, the enemy AI is not that spectacular. Not that good at the whole dog fighting thing. Which is unfortunate, because being that they are in planes, that is really necessary. I think he might have a sick engine. I think he's having some problems. Yep, he doesn't look too good. He is diving. You can actually do... I'm doing a rear view. You can't actually do any, like, side views or anything like that, which is really annoying. 
but you can do an enemy view. And this is his view, and you'll notice that there's no sound, and that means that his engine has cut out. So he might be trying to ditch or something. So I'm going to, using my magical powers of uh, Commander Troy empathy. Yes, that was a Star Trek reference. Again, um, making me a super cool dude. Oh, he didn't ditch very well, did he? Just went ass over a tea kettle there. Well, he's dead, so I've killed two zeros, but... Um, got my counselor Troy point, but let's just forget I said anything about her. Alright, so that's our target there. Slightly west-southwest. I'm gonna engage... Whoa, what am I doing? What the hell was that? Oh, okay. I think I know what happened there. You hit Alt and then an arrow key, it makes it stick. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit Alt-T and leave my hands away. Put your hands away from the controls! just kind of merrily fly right on over to this uh, enemy base. I do love time compression. I love it in every game in which I find it. Alright. So we're very, very rapidly approaching this target, which appears to be an airfield. Yep, we're still triple timing it. Okay, okay, okay. And we're at almost 9,000 feet now? Well, we don't need to go that high. Oh, radar contacts. Over here. And I bet that they're substantially lower than me, so I'm going to start busting ass, getting close to them. I'm almost also going to disengage the uh, time compression, because that will probably be counterproductive. And we're getting flak fired at us, actually. Might have heard a explosion. Not my butt. Fart jokes. Oh, we're getting hit by something. That's not good. I thought I just heard, uh... There was a little sound. <laughs> Literally like that. Um, and that indicates that you are getting hit by a bullet. I'm not seeing anything. Where you at? Where my hose at? Where are my zeros? Zero hose at? Word up. Oh, there he is. You could pull off some ridiculous maneuvers. Like that right there <laughs> should not have worked. <laughs> this does not have the most, well, at least by modern standards, it does not have a very sophisticated. Uh, you know, it doesn't realistically model aerodynamics, really. <laughs> you can get this thing going up to, like, 500 miles an hour just fine. You'll have to go into a dive, of course, but, yeah, you, you will. Your plane would normally just break up at that speed, but... Not in Hellcats over the Pacific, my friend. Sky's the limit, as it were. Uh, oh, hey, there you are. Oh, yeah. Take it. take it being it being bullets. Alright, come on now. My engine sounds a little bit funny. I'm not smoking. So, what the hell. That's our target there. We don't want to get too close to it because it has other AA other than flak that will really ruin your day too close to it. Did I talk about how flaps make you turn quicker? <laughs> I don't know if that's really the case, but that's how it works in Hellcats over the Pacific. I'm actually moving very slowly, just realized. Oh, man. This is how most dogfights tend to go. So you have the horizon scrolling vertically across your screen. As you try to catch up with the enemy, I'm going to go this way now. I just saw him. He's trying to get altitude, it looked like. But he needs an altitude adjustment. He needs to go downtown. Oh, God. Miss, miss, miss. All misses. <laughs> right. Well done. 
should have actually looked behind me and seen where he went. That would have been a clever maneuver on my part. We just keep missing each other. We're just dancing around each other. Like a junior high prom. It's just everybody's standing on the wall listening to Lady in Red. Oh, shit! <laughs> a little close. Not gonna lie. I'm going really slowly. I'm gonna try to get some speed, and he's gonna line up right behind me and start to destroy me. He's gonna take me from behind. I don't know what he's doing. He's hanging out off to the side, but then he's not, and then I'm doing some loosey-goosey bullshit here. Mostly I was trying to get my speed up for a little bit there. God damn it. I might just bomb the base at this point. Now, as far as um, how your mission is determined to be successful when you bomb base, I think you have to actually bomb the runway. Because I feel like I've... I, I have dusted this off before this episode, and uh, it's been a, actually a few weeks. But I, I seem to not... I seem to remember not getting credit for um, bombing the base when I actually bombed one of the hangars, which you'd think would be sufficient, but it was not, apparently. Okay, this is looking much better. Oh, man! What... In a steep climb, steep climb. Oh god. Somehow we're still airborne. <laughs> okay. That was interesting. I don't think I hit him too badly, though, so I, I'm not thinking that's going to have any kind of effect on him. But maybe I can line up behind him here. I'm having a hard time seeing him. Oh my god, he was right above me. <laughs> Cheating! <laughs> but no one cares. This is just for fun. This is just for the purposes of celebrating underappreciated games for an underappreciated platform. How about that? How's that for a cool statement? I sound totally cool right now. Just saw him and I want to kill him. Come on. Oh, nice. Okay, finally. See, now there's actually a bug in the game where if you get this close, your bullets will actually just pass right through them. So I think I've <laughs> successfully demonstrated that bug because I don't think many of those went uh, did any damage. All right, I, I think with him smoking like that, cheating. <laughs> I think I'm gonna. Ooh, I need to get a little bit higher though. Do we have any other enemies? We do. Fuck. It's never ending. <laughs> I thought this was called bomb base, not fiddle fart around with zeros. It's kind of a lengthy name, I guess. And also, fiddle fart, really? Did I just use that word? I did. I should own it. I shouldn't own a fiddle fart, I should just own the fact that I said it. Oh man, he's flying low. There we Oh shit! <laughs> okay, well I think I got him. Alright, nice. Now, I'm going to have to get some altitude here because I was saying um, that you can really get messed up by the AA in this game. Although, with that said, we have some other planes coming in, so I might do my bombing run here if I can, and I think I'm going to have to try to take out the actual... Yeah, see, you can see I'm getting shot at by some AA there. 
Ooh, okay, we're gonna get higher. We're gonna do some dive bombing. It's not a good idea to dive directly above, or to try to gain altitude directly above an enemy airfield, so I'm gonna go over here. And just kind of fart around. Do some... I'm doing a barrel roll, in the words of a more famous pilot than me. Maybe I will attempt a somersault. Okay. Oh man, there's a lot of them. That looks like three. Good lord. They don't have that much ammo. Good grief. What do you people want from me? They really want me to not bomb base. Just a hunch. That doesn't look good. They're, s they're so close now that I, I think I have to actually fight. I, think I can really get away with uh, not fighting at this point. But I do have very little ammo, so this could go sideways for us real quick. There he is. Fuck. Might have clipped him a little bit. I got hit a couple times there. Fuck you guys. And there's a third one coming in, so we have to be watchful for him. Just the second one. I'm going to try to take him out. Oh, come on. Not lead my shots properly there. Oh man, there he is. If I can take just one of these guys out, that's fine. I think I can do this with two uh, zeros hunting me down. Because as we've demonstrated, they're not so great with the whole shooting thing. He's doing some kind of scissory thing, whatever, good for him. That's him. And he has lost engine power, okay. Okay, I'm going to try to bomb the base here. See that gray structure there? That's the actual um, hangar, but... Hitting that doesn't seem to actually do anything, so... Whee! Well, I hit, I think the... <laughs> that was not the main runway. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> oh, well. I wasn't really thinking about what I was attacking there. Well, I did something there. <laughs> I did bomb the base, technically. Just didn't do a very good job of it, so, you know, lay off. Okay, so that's that guy that's about to die. Let's see if we can take out this last guy, because I think I'm only going to be able to take out one more of these guys, because I have no ammo at this point. Very little ammo. Oh, I just saw him. Wait, that's... Nope, that's the one I want there. Get a little closer. There we go. Okay, that should be sufficient. Alright, so we're almost out of out of bullets. I think it's time for us to bug out. if we can hear the enemy. Not like in Silent Hunter, we're not using our hydrophones. We're just gonna take a listen to his uh, plane not flying. He's still trying to chase me. That's actually me <laughs> in the top part of the screen there. You can see him. Oh, that was close. You can 
can see him crashing now. There he goes. Ooh. We just took some flak damage. Damn. Alright, well, let's, uh... We've got a zero behind us. I don't know if this is the one that hasn't been hit yet or what, but... I'm gonna triple time here. Could be dangerous. You can see a shadow on the bottom there. I don't really know if that's one that's still able to fly or what. And I can see some other crap kind of flickering in and out of existence. Hmm. Well, alright, whatever. We're just going to keep going then. Alright, we should be getting close to our carrier any minute. actually really high up. Yeah. There it is there. Blah. Blah. The lesser known Hanson hit song, Blop. It almost looks like... Is our carrier okay? Yeah, it's fine. It just renders weird, I guess. It looked like it was listing or something. I think that we're moving pretty fast. Yeah, we're moving at about like 340 miles an hour. Probably not a safe speed to land this thing. Just a guess. Permission to buzz the tower. Granted. Oh god, that was not a good time for lag. <laughs> Look at me, Mom! I'm Tom Cruise! I'm so ashamed of you, son. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna uh, try to burn off some speed here, and we're gonna decrease our throttle to achieve that. I've also got our flaps engaged, which should help us. That's like the equivalent of an air brake on this thing, in this simulator. I also need to get low again, though. To the window, to the wall. Till the sweat drops down my balls. Alrighty then. He's coming in hot. He's going to try to take a shot at me when I try to land here. Which is fine. That is his right. Maybe he's going to try to go from zero to hero. Womp womp. I kind of ballsed up the approach here, but... What else is new? That's the view from the tower. This is actually kind of helping me orient. Yeah, if I turn now, I should be good. Yeah. <laughs> Simply because I don't have the ability to, you know, like, look to the side. I'm using... I'm exploiting that, so... You guys can just freaking deal with it. You can deal with my cheating in this... Highly competitive and serious game, Hellcats over the Pacific. Now, landing. Let's talk about that real quick. I am not, as they say in the uh, aeronautical business, good at landing. As evidenced by the fact that I'm probably a little too high right now. In terms of my uh, altitude. And I'm probably coming in a little bit too fast. Maybe not. Oh, I nailed it! Whoop, there it is! And now I'm going to actually um, end the mission, because um, I probably am going to get strafed and killed. <laughs> oh, wait. I'm, no, I can't just end the mission, I guess. Okay, well, let's resume. Right on. Nice landing. All right, so I didn't actually um, win the mission, it looks like. But I did advance to the rank of Lieutenant Junior Grade... Lieutenant Junior Grade LTJG Magnum Cum Loudly. Uh, he got an ace in a day. What about it? Um, yeah, not too bad. I didn't actually bomb base, though, which is a, a real shame. But um, 
Really, the purpose of this was not to win so much as to 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 learn. And I think we all learned a little a uh, little bit about our uh, little game here, Hellcats Over the Pacific. I'm glad I had the opportunity to share it with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, if you guys want me to play a little more of it, I can do that. But I just thought I would uh, take a trip down memory lane, I guess. So this has been Hellcats Over the Pacific, as played by me, Effin Controller. And I hope to see you guys again real soon with other fun-filled Mac games. See you then.